Okay, um, uh, here we have uh, section 3.3 uh, uh, talking about the morphology of the verb. Uh, morphology means, uh, as we said, the structure of the verb. Uh, we have some issues to discuss uh, concerning the verb, especially when we add something to the verb. As we said, uh, the base or the root or the stem, like for example, say, uh, verb, uh, say, sing, for example. How do we change the verb uh, sing? And if we have verb like, for example, help. So if we have a verb like help, uh, the past, uh, the S form would be helps, the ING form would be uh, helping, then we have, uh, let's say, uh, let's write, say helps, then we have helping, then we say helped, again we have helped. As we see, here we don't have any trouble or problem with the verb uh, help. Why? Because it belongs to or relate to a group called regular verb. And in case of regular verb, we add for the past and the past participle just ed. In case of the verb with sing, we have, for example, the verb say sings, the verb we have singing, and here we have the verb say sang, and the past participle is the say sang. So here the, the problem is then, again, uh, with the base, this is the origin or the root, then we have the, uh, the uh, verb uh, with sings, just add, and with ing, here we don't have the troubles, adding s or adding ing. The troubles come with the past and the past participle. Why? Because we call these two uh, things, the S form and ING form, we call them predictable. Predictable in sense, according to the end of the verb, we add or modify this S. While for the uh, past and past participle, they are unpredictable. Means we don't know how to change the verb. So here let's take some points concerning, for example, the S. When we add the S to the verb. Again, this uh, uh, adding S to the verb in uh, uh, S form has some uh, condition depending on the end of the verb. If the verb ends in one of six sounds, and these what we call sibilant sounds, then we do not add S. As we know, generally we add S. Say so ask, ask, write, write, sing, sings. But this is not always. In some cases, we have ES. So when do we add ES? Depending on the end of the verb. If the verb ends in one of these six sounds, we call them sibilant six sounds, like se, ze, she, che, je, je, then in this case we add ES, and this ES we add a pronounce is. For example, if we have reach, we don't add just S, but we have to add what? We add ES. In this case, we read it, we read it, reaches. So if we have X, uh, like this. Or if we have, for example, wish, we say wishes. Means we add what? We add, let's say, uh, ES, and we uh, read it as S. So if any verb ends with one of these, then we add ES, not just S. This is in case. Sometimes we have uh, other verbs ends with Y. If a verb like, for example, ends with Y, like if like, in this case, we change this into I, then we add what? We add uh, uh, ES, like if like, or cry. Uh, in this case, we add uh, this, and we change this Y. But if the verbs ends, I mean this Y preceded by, if the verb preceded by consonant in uh, this uh, vowel, we do not change. Here, the, uh, the, the L is what consonant, so we change it. But if we have, for example, like, as we say, play, we are just as, we do not change it, why? Because this Y preceded, but preceded with Y. This is relating to uh, S. Relating to ING form, uh, as we know, again, Mostly we add ing form, but sometimes 
we have some exceptions, like if the verb, uh, say, if we have ask, we directly we say asking. But in case if we have, for example, a stop, of course, you know, after stop, we have to double P, then we add what? ING, uh, Y, because this preceded by O, which is what? Which is uh, consonant, while uh, vowel, while this uh, K preceded by S, which is what? Consonant, etc. And we have some exception concerning the doubling. I mean, if we have like the verb, say, travel. The travel, if we want to add ING, first we double L and we add ING. Why? Because this one preceded by uh, with E. Uh, concerning the uh, doubling ING, this depending on only when the verb consists of one syllable. If the verb consists of two syllables or three, this depends on the last syllables. If the last syllable is stressed, then we double. If not, we, for example, in case of listen and begin. Listen and begin. Listen, the second uh, syllable is not stressed, so directly we add ing, just ing. In case of begin, begin, I mean with high voice, with high. So in this case, it is stressed, and if we say begin, we double first n. We add N, then we add ING, etc., with verbs of more than two syllables. Uh, concerning the ED, uh, this, of course, we have still other issues. You can um, uh, see the books uh, and uh, check these uh, exceptions or uh, more information. So, in case of ED, generally, again, we add ED. But in case, for example, if we have want, the verb want, we add ed. But in case the verb it, uh, uh, already has uh, e, like for example hate, so we just add, originally it is hate or love. So here we have hate, already we have e, so we uh, add just uh, add d in case of uh, I mean past participle or the past. Uh, here we add just ed. In case of uh, deleting I, uh, with ing, we know, for example, if we have uh, like right, and this right ends with e, so we delete, in case of ing, we delete this and we add ing. But if we have double e, so we do not delete. Like if we have a three as a verb, three, so, and we want to add ing, we do not delete this one, but directly we add, say, freeing. We freeing. So, we have some cases, if these cases end with e, in this case, we do not touch this e. If we have double e, if we have o e, and if we have u e, and if we have uh, g e. So, if we have ends, verbs, ends with these ends means, so in this case, we do not touch that. For example, if we have the verb singe, the verb singe end with what? With uh, E. If we want to add this uh, ing for this example, so we add directly, we do not delete this E, but we directly add this ing. Because if we deleted this E, We'll have another verb, for example, C will have another verb that is singing. So to keep it the same meaning, we keep this E. Also, with, as we say, with the free. If we have a free and verb with a free, so we have, we say, free, freed. I mean, like this, free, C, we add, I mean, D, we do not add this, etc. with O, E, and Y, E. Uh, other issues concerning the S form, the Y, the ING form, can you uh, check in section 3.3, uh, up to 3.10, I mean up to 3.10, all these sections, 3.4, 3.5, 7, 6, etc., up to 3, 3.10, all these uh, sections uh, uh, talking about the morphology, the structure of the verbs.
uh, next time, I mean next lecture, hopefully we are going to start with the 3.10 uh, uh, that talks about the uh, irregular verbs. Thank you very much for your listening.